The Solar Anus It is clear that the world is purely parodic, in other words, that each thing seen is the parody of another, or is the same thing in a deceptive form. Ever since sentences started to circulate in brains devoted to reflection, an effort at total identification has been made, because with the aid of a copula, each sentence ties one thing to another. All things would be visibly connected if one could discover at a single glance and in its totality the tracings of an Ariadne's thread leading thought into its own labyrinth. But the copula of terms is no less irritating than the copulation of bodies. And when I scream, I am the sun, an integral erection results, because the verb to be is the vehicle of amorous frenzy. Everyone is aware that life is parodic and that it lacks an interpretation. Thus, lead is the parody of gold. Air is the parody of water. The brain is the parody of the equator. Coitus is the parody of crime. Gold, water, the equator or crime can each be put forward as the principle of things. And if the origin of things is not like the ground of the planet that seems to be the base, but like the circular movement that the planet describes around a mobile centre, then a car, a clock or a sewing machine could equally be accepted as the generative principle. The sea continuously jerks off. Solid elements contained in brood and water, animated by erotic movement, shoot out in the form of flying fish. The erection and the sun scandalise in the same way as the cadaver and the darkness of cellars. Vegetation is uniformly directed towards the sun. Human beings, on the other hand, even though phalloid like trees, in opposition to the other animals, necessarily avert their eyes. Human eyes tolerate neither sun, coitus, cadavers, nor obscurity, but with different reactions. When my face is flushed with blood, it becomes red and obscene. It betrays at the same time through morbid reflexes, a bloody erection, and a demanding thirst for indecency and criminal debauchery. For that reason, I am not afraid to affirm that my face is a scandal, and that my passions are expressed only by the Jesuv. The terrestrial globe is covered with volcanoes, which serves as its anus. Although this globe eats nothing, it often violently ejects the contents of its entrails. Those contents shoot out with a racket and fall back, streaming down the sides of the Jesuv, spreading death and terror everywhere. In fact, the erotic movements of the ground are not fertile like those of the water, but they are far more rapid. The earth sometimes jerks off in a frenzy, and everything collapses on its surface. The Jesuv is thus the image of an erotic movement that burglarizes the ideas contained in the mind, giving them the force of a scandalous eruption. This eruptive force accumulates in those who are necessarily situated below. Communist workers appear to the bourgeois to be as ugly and dirty as hairy sexual organs or lower parts. Sooner or later, there will be a scandalous eruption in the course of which the asexual noble heads of the bourgeois will be chopped off. Disasters, revolutions and volcanoes do not make love with the stars. The erotic revolutionary and volcanic deflagrations antagonize the heavens. As in the case of violent love, they take place beyond the constraints of fecundity. In opposition to celestial fertility, there are terrestrial disasters. The image of terrestrial love without condition, erection without escape and without rule, scandal and terror. Love then screams in my own throat. I am the Jesuv, the filthy parody of the torrid and blinding sun. I want to have my throat slashed while violating the girl to whom I will have been able to say you are the night. The sun exclusively loves the night and directs its luminous violence, its ignoble shaft, towards the earth. 
but it finds itself incapable of reaching the gaze or the night, even though the nocturnal terrestrial expanses head continuously toward the indecency of the solar ray. The solar annulus is the intact anus of her body at 18 years, to which nothing sufficiently blinding can be compared except the sun, even though the anus is the night.